powerful earthquake rocked the region overnight. Thousands have died. We will have the very latest just ahead. Good morning, I'm Lena Bovian reporting live here in Huntington Park where we are waiting for a press conference later this morning. The department will be speaking out for the first time since officers with this department shot and killed 36-year-old double amputee Anthony Lowe. Good morning, I'm Erin Myers and Palm's overnight winds brought down a tree which damaged several vehicles. All the latest on the windy weather coming up. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes, U.S. Navy and FBI trying to gather what's left of that Chinese spy balloon that was shot down over the weekend. Now lawmakers are questioning why it took so long to knock it out of U.S. airspace. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin, new here at 8 o'clock. What's bugging Ben? Grammys were uh, up and down last night, but he seemed to have an especially bad time. We'll talk about that, plus your chance to win a Grammy swag bag. Wow, good stuff inside. Hope you get it. It's a minute away from 8 o'clock on a sunny morning. Winds overnight causing some problems. Uh, a lot of tree down trees and even some power lines, but the winds are going to be dying down and the advisory should expire in about two hours. 66 will be the high coastal, downtown Los Angeles 68, San Fernando Valley up to 67 degrees, and by midweek you can add about 10 degrees to some of these temperatures. Orange County Inland 70, 65 Inland Empire, and the high desert up to 58 degrees. Let's go to Ginger and see what's happening in traffic. All right, let's talk about what's happening, huh? So, you know, we're going to cover all the bases as best as we can in some of the different counties as well. This 15, the northbound side, right at about 6th Street. So they're saying maybe it's like this big rig that ended up stalling out, but still sitting in lanes. So a little touch and go here. Uh, you can see what the drive and the conditions are like. It's not a horrible drive, just one of those things we want to make sure we at least take a look at it and let you know what you're dealing with. So they're calling this one the 10 eastbound side. Hmm right at about Santa Fe Avenue. You know, this is like not far from the produce market. If you have plans here, they are saying that there is some kind of stall as well in lanes, but it gives us a great opportunity to look at the 10 freeway. So heading west is the busy stretch. You see it at five freeway ain't pretty, neither is the 60 or the 101. I mean, that's the East LA interchange, always a tough spot. And you can see even with the one little tiny hiccup in lanes, that will also mess things up for your drive for sure. We'll watch and keep track of it, very tough spot. Uh, send it back to you, Jess and Frank. Back to our breaking news here from Turkey and Syria. More than 2,100 people have been killed after a magnitude 7.8 earthquake rocked the region overnight. There have been at least 120 aftershocks as crews attempt to rescue the survivors. KTLA's Eric Spillman in the newsroom with more for us. Eric, good morning. Morning, Frank. One of the aftershocks measured 7.5. Another one, one was a magnitude 6.7. These are just the aftershocks of the original much more powerful quake. Rescuers are trying to find survivors and it is extremely dangerous work because many of the buildings are unstable. This is in Malatya in south central Turkey. You see people running as another building collapses. Either it was weakened by the first quake or an aftershock caused it to fall. It's one of the many hazards that search crews are facing. This was one of the strongest quakes to hit this part of the world since 1939. It struck at 417 a.m. local time and it was centered in the city of Gaziantep in southeastern Turkey. The 7.8 magnitude quake caused damage in Syria and it was felt in Lebanon. Lebanon, Cyprus, Israel, and even Egypt. These pictures come from a security camera in a store in Turkey, the shaking lasting for more than a minute. In Syria, whole neighborhoods were flattened. In this video from a drone, you can't really make out any structures that withstood the quake. All you see are piles of concrete and other building materials. Survivors are telling some harrowing stories. This man, his wife and four children made it out of their four story building. Now they're in a hospital. He says they ran when the quake hit. He says we made it to the entrance of the building and it collapsed on us. He says God saved us when a wooden door fell on us to protect us from the debris.
In Turkey, rescue crews are taking part in a desperate and frantic search for people who may still be alive under pancaked buildings. Occasionally, they find people who survive.